General Terence J. O'Shaughnessy, the commander of both the North American Aerospace Defense Command and U.S. Northern Command answers media questions about the Defense Department's role in supporting FEMA and the command's plan to combat the coronavirus. What can you tell me about how U.S. Northern Command is supporting the whole of America response to the coronavirus while you continue to conduct your homeland defense mission? What measures are in place to continue mission assurance? NORTHCOM has a sacred obligation to defend our great nation. We realized early in the COVID-19 epidemic that we needed to take aggressive action to ensure our crews, our force, were able to perform their mission despite the impacts of the virus. We've done things like isolate our crews. We've taken them to Cheyenne Mountain, where they're isolated to be able to perform their command and control capability while they're not affected by the virus. We've also taken the social distancing within our headquarters to ensure all within the headquarters can be able to maintain their ability to operate. We've seen hospital ships and we hear there are army hospitals that will be operating soon. What is NORTHCOM's role in the war against the coronavirus? Our Commander-in-Chief has declared a war on COVID-19. U.S. NORTHCOM has a sacred obligation to defend this nation, and we're running a campaign against this virus. I've heard you say that you are treating this as a military operation. Can you explain to me what you mean by that and give me some examples? U.S. NORTHCOM has been given the responsibility to take all the Department of Defense assets that we can apply to this COVID-19 fight and make sure they get to the place where they need to be to have the biggest impact. We're coordinating closely with the National Response Coordination Center to make sure that we get our force exactly where they need to be in order to defeat this virus. What is NORTHCOM's plan moving forward? We see a hospital ship on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. We are hearing about forces in Washington yet we also seeing other hot spots that are emerging. How are you preparing for that? Based on the scope and scale of this operation, I'm going to use my component commanders to take full advantage of what they bring to the fight. For example, I'm using Admiral Chris Grady, my naval component commander, to ensure that we can take the USNS Mercy, the USNS Comfort, and take full advantage to relieve pressure off the hospitals. In addition, I'm using my land component commander, Lieutenant General Laura Richardson, to do the support, defense support to civil authorities at the best and most effective way we can. For example, the hospitals we're spending to New York and Washington. Is there anything else you would like to add? Based on the nature of what we're seeing from this virus, we know that we need to be able to respond to multiple different locations almost simultaneously. We're in, tied deeply with the National Response Coordination Center to ensure that we can take the prioritization that they are setting in coordination with the White House Task Force and apply our DOD assets exactly where they're needed. Thank you.